What's up guys and welcome back. If you're new, hi, my name is Morgan. I'm a medical assisting student who is quickly gearing up for their practicum. Uh, my practicum, let's see, today here is the 13th, so it is in nine days, no, 11 days, I can count, I swear. Yeah, it's in 11 days, so I have been kind of accumulating things and the things that I may need, and I just really want to like put my best foot forward. It's September 13th today, and the weather is starting to turn. It start the leaves are falling, which means it is finally my time to shine. This is my favorite time of the year, and I'm gonna sound real basic when I say that because I'm telling you, October, like uh, the like Halloween. Thanksgiving, Christmas, like they're all, fall to me feels like just one big cozy hug and it is, it's finally here. So I'm pretty excited about that. But with that comes my practicum at the end of this month. So I'm, yeah, it's coming up. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous, but I'm pretty excited too. I had originally planned this week to do a like I asked on Instagram and Facebook on all my social media so if you don't follow me on those make sure that you do I will link them here because I generally before I post a YouTube video I usually have a couple different ideas because um, I have like a list of YouTube videos I need to film and I make sure to like narrow it down to two and I generally every week post on my social media and kind of let you guys decide what you guys want to see from me that week so make sure you go follow me if you are interested at all in what I put out on YouTube but I posted a couple different things and the popular choice by like a lot was for my husband to do my makeup and for us to film it but we are laughing through most of it so we either need to refilm or it's gonna take me a very long time to edit like at least 70% of the laughter so you can actually watch the video without it being <laughs> two hours long um, so that's on my to-do list but it may take a couple weeks for me to get it out so I kind of had to decide what I was doing this week so I had originally planned this video a couple weeks from now once I kind of started practicum um, so I really gave these things some time to really review them for you but with my with my practicum coming up I ordered several things to kind of put my best foot forward I wanted to look professional I wanted to look put together but I also wanted to make sure that I was efficient because as students they appreciate the extra hands and they appreciate all these students are coming out who are probably gonna work for them at some point um, I do recognize that to a certain extent we are going to be getting in their way so I want to make sure that I got things that would um, like hopefully be a little bit more efficient and so that way I kind of pick things up so I my stethoscope got either left at school got swiped something happened it is not like me to that's a lie I tend to misplace things pretty frequently but my stethoscope was like my second child I loved my stethoscope I used it all the time obviously um, and I took it with me to school and we always like take them off leave them on the table as we're going around and I don't know if somebody thought that it belonged to school or what but I haven't seen it since uh, which is fine and it was a Littman classic 3 and I really really loved it it was a gift from my mom thanks mom <laughs> um, but I needed a new one because that's like the one thing you actually need to go out in the field. Um, so I ordered a new stethoscope. And so I guess that's kind of really a good place to start considering it's the main aspect of my job. So I went on Google and again, if you follow me on social media, I put a poll up because for the life of me and I was spending hours on it. So I just figured I'd throw it up and let somebody else decide. For the life of me, I couldn't decide between blue and pink. First world problems. Um, so I ordered a new Lipman because I know that I love them. This is a really great stethoscope for really anybody, but if you're just starting out and you need to hear clear sounds, like the Krakow sounds, if you need to hear every single one of them, if you're like just starting out or if you're like halfway through your career, or even if you're like getting ready to retire, I just, I love this stethoscope. They're durable. I've my son got a hold of my stethoscope a couple times like it's they're durable they're lifelong they're amazing quality and I absolutely recommend them and they're kind of like that mid price point I think I paid 
$86 for the stethoscope, which isn't bad. The um, the cheaper end can be like $20, $30. I've seen stethoscopes like their, the Lipman like cardiology series and just other um, higher end stethoscopes in general. I can see them up to like two, $300. I would never pay that much for a stethoscope, um, especially not as a medical assistant. But I swear by the Lipman Classic 3s and everybody I know, um, whether they be in my class or people who have graduated well before me, every medical assistant that I talk to, even out in the field, swear by the Lipman Classic 3. So I stuck to what I know. I didn't want to try out anything funny as I'm going out in the field and trying to prove myself. So let's unbox it. And I already did this on all my Instagram and Facebook and things like that already, but I have not shared with my YouTube family yet. I decided to go with the pink because it is just so girly, it's fun, it's very me. I'm planning, I'm going into family care, so I'm going to be working with children, but eventually I want to work in obstetrics, so I'll be working with pregnant ladies mostly. Um, but I really love the stethoscope. Uh, like I said, absolutely recommend the brand. The earpieces are very, very comfortable. They fit in my ears nicely, and they always come with... Um, like extra pieces they come with two more ear pieces and then um, an extra ring here too because they can get like scuffed up and damaged and things like that but I really love them it's they're not the like the most lightweight they're lightweight series I haven't heard the best things about um, but the classic is it's not super light but it feels durable so I really like it the tubing feels really good it feels not cheap it feels like it's not gonna snap if it gets hot um, it's just a really beautiful stethoscope and I love it and I would absolutely recommend it and I will make sure anything I talk about today I will try to link below so that way you guys can go shop for yourselves if you would like. But I got this one on Amazon so it was a little bit cheaper um, but then other places that I've seen it, it was I think, this one I think was 76 a couple other ones that I would look at are more expensive. They also have all kinds of different finishes or anything like that so I would absolutely recommend checking it out on Amazon if you're looking for a new stethoscope. So if you know me in real life, you know that I almost always have a headband in my hair with this crazy curly mane of mine. I need something to keep all the flyaways out of my face. And every single headband I've ever tried in my life, pause. My biggest pet peeve, I'm telling you, like it's up there with chewing with your mouth open. It's up there with things that bother me the most. My top five pet peeve is when headbands slide around in my hair. I hate having to adjust them. It takes me time. If and if I'm out in the field, or if, so I haven't been out the, in the field yet. But when I'm at school and I'm like, go, go, go. I'm trying to do things. I'm trying to learn. It drives me absolutely bonkers having to like fix my headband, take it out, put it back in. Like just drives me insane. So I have been on the hunt to find a headband that doesn't slide around in my hair. And I haven't been able to find one. I've tried the ones like from Target with like the grippies, I th like the scrunchy brand, I think. Like, I don't know, all those like generic, like drugstore kind of brands that have like the, like the kind of like the grippy, like the silicone around it to try to like keep it from gripping in your hair. I don't know what it is. Maybe my hair is too fine. I don't know. Let me know if it's like a girl problem or if it's like a curly hair problem or just me. Maybe my hair is defective. Um, but I never, ever, ever have used a headband that hasn't moved around in my hair. So I follow a lot of other fellow influencers. I follow a whole lot of other people. And a lot of them, I try to really focus in on RNs, other medical assistants. I'm trying to really like focus into that community because it's what I'm passionate about and the biggest brand that I've seen between them and the brand that these and other influencers advocate the most is a brand called Hello Headbands. I looked on Instagram and followed them and kind of like looked through or whatever and found a coupon code and decided that I would try them. When I ordered them, it took me quite a while to decide and these two particular prints, including the one I have in my hair, super cute. These two prints that I'd been dying to have get my hands on, kept going out of stock. And so finally I got my hands on them. I got them in my cart and then I ordered them. 
and once I ordered them everything through them is like hand cut and sewn like everything they make themselves and so you know that they're really great quality and you know that like just a great amount of time and love went into these headbands so it's, it takes three to five days for them to make it and they once you order it they send you an email to let you know that's gonna take three to five days um and thank you for being patient which really isn't that long at all i don't think anyway especially if it's quality but i ordered it and it said wait three to five days and then after like closer to the five day mark um i got an email from them saying like it's on your way like it's on its way um allow like three to five days for shipping and the email gave me a tracking number and once the tracking number like finally activated because they like sent it immediately like before ups has um usps is what they ship with but before they'd even picked it up so i had to wait for usps to pick it up and as soon as i like clicked on it because i was super excited so i was so on top of it when i clicked on it it said that i'd only had one i would only, only ordered one band and only one band was coming to me but when i looked at like my invoice it said that i'd ordered the two so i reached out to them on instagram and like just asking like oh like it like just kind of like this is what I'm seeing I don't know if it's a glitch or what let me tell you when I when when I say that this company has the best customer service of anybody I've ever dealt with in my life I absolutely mean it I worked in retail and customer service for quite a while before this I've dealt with my share of cranky customers I have dealt with my share of people with poor customer service and this company has the best customer service I think I've ever come across in my entire life. They were fantastic. I sent them an email on Instagram and you know that they get a lot of messages on Instagram. They got back to me within, I'd say 15 minutes. That's it. And they like, oh, like immediately, let me look right into this for you. They, I'm so sorry, like it, this is, like let, let me take care of this because like this isn't how like we want our customers to feel i wasn't anxious i wasn't freaking out at all but they it was really comforting to know that like we'll take care of this and sure enough like about 20 minutes later they mess they messaged me again and they told me that it was a glitch that everything um that every like everything on their end so that i ordered two headbands and that they had shipped two headbands but if one, only one showed up that they would send me another one and it was just they were an absolute pleasure to work with i absolutely recommend them i will absolutely tag them down below because they are amazing they are a small business and i will support them for as long as long as they're around they've been absolutely amazing the headbands do not move at all so this is the knotted headband it's like the ekg print i think is what they call it uh, again i'll drop them down below if they're in stock they go up pretty quickly because these are very popular like i said they're very popular with rns and other people in the medical field so get on it if you want them but i it keeps my hair out of my face which was a must for me i needed headbands and why i wear them in general is because my hair is so crazy like it gets in my face it just doesn't look very professional no matter how much i do it in the morning so i need a headband to keep it all out so that way i can see what i'm doing so this like they work they like they don't go anywhere i haven't had to adjust it at all that feels snug but not tight like it's not going to give me a headache and they're very very cute like they have like the knotted i think they have like a tie one which is cute i'm excited to get my hands on one of those too i'm so excited to buy like their whole inventory they also have these wide uh like these wide twist ones which i will show you too because i got um another headband in a different print of the Y twist. This is the Y twist one. It is so cute. I really love that it is so big that if I don't want to, which I normally have to because it doesn't fit in a ponytail unless I do something with it in the morning. But if I don't want to, I can just like throw it in and it covers most of my head anyway, so no one's gonna know. Um, so I really love how big it is. I love that it's twisted because I've been trying to do that with regular headbands and it just doesn't work out as well. Um, it's this really cute kind of medical print. I'll see here if the camera will focus. But it's super cute. Um, I, this is one I've been waiting for for a long time. It's every time it launched, I think just a couple months ago. And, uh, every single time I went over there, like they sold out in minutes. So it's, I, I love this print. It's super cute. It's, 
again, isn't going to slide in my hair at all. And it just feels very secure, which I absolutely, absolutely matters to me and it should. And it's going to matter to anybody who's working in the medical field because you don't have time to fix your hair throughout the day. That said, I'm going to switch to the other one because I think the other one matches my outfit just a little bit better. So most of the other stuff that I've accumulated over the last few weeks are pretty standard things that are not necessarily specific to medical assistants, but just anybody who's like going back to school in general. I did get a couple new pairs of scrubs, which I can show you. I'm not going to go too into detail. I'm just going to touch on a few things that I've gotten because once I start practicum, I am going to, I am planning on filming at like what's in my bag, like medical assistant, like practicum edition. I've seen a lot. I've seen a couple of them on YouTube, but I, uh, I've been kind of researching and things like that. And I think that uh, a lot of, at the very least, other medical assistants who are just starting into practicum behind me uh, it will be very beneficial to them. So that's something that I'm planning on putting out here in the next few weeks. But I did get a few things that I would like to show you. The first being is this new planner. If you know me at all, you know that I'm obsessed with planners. I'm obsessed with the idea of being organized and I try real hard. So um, I, my life is a little bit crazy and a little bit chaotic, but I try really hard to get it all written down. And if I didn't before, I'm going to now mark my words. This planner is made by Ray Dunn and I really love their stuff. I know again, I'm showing how basic I am, but I really love the simplicity. I really love um, just how aesthetic it is. I, I love them. I'm planning on getting a whole bunch of their mugs. We're hoping to move here within the next four or five months. So prepare yourself for a big moving vlog one of these months. And I'm planning on redoing my kitchen in Ray Dunn. I really, really love like I said, the aesthetic of it. So found this at TJ Maxx. I think it was like $8, which isn't all that bad for a planner. I've definitely paid more, <laughs> um, but I really like it. And it's a 17 month calendar. So it starts with August and goes through December, 2020, which I really like. It has a list, it has a nice little list of Yeah, focus has like a nice little list of holidays, which I think is kind of cool. But yeah, it's just a spot for me to get my life together. Pretty basic. I will say that I'd like to link everything that I've gotten down below for you, but since I, I'm not working, I'm still in school, and my husband's laid off, I 100% transparency. I do a lot of my shopping at Goodwill and Value Village. I think it's really important, not only the fact that we're broke, but also because it's, I'm really into repurposing things and everything has, everything has more life to it and it's better for the environment. So I try to shop at the Goodwill and Value Village when I can and their bonuses are a little bit cheaper. And this bag is definitely something that I got at Goodwill. I'm pretty sure it was a Goodwill. And it was only $10 and it's super cute. I didn't want to be that student that shows up to <laughs> shows up to practicum with my backpack. Um, and this is a little bit, a nice step up anyway. It's pretty big. It has these little like water bottle pockets on either side. A nice big pocket back here. And it's magnetic and on the inside it's all insulated, which is really nice. So I don't have to buy a lunch box. I can just kind of throw my lunch into Tupperware and put them in here. It has a whole bunch of pockets. I'm really excited to fill it and get all my stuff and start. Like I said, I'll show you more in I'll show you the bag more in depth once I film my what's in my bag medical assisting student edition. I'll work on the title. So the next few things that I'm going to touch on are kind of more relating to my scrubs and what I will be wearing, like my wardrobe. Obviously, I'm going to be wearing a lot of scrubs and I haven't been told of any sort of dress code. So I've just been kind of trying to keep it a little bit neutral with some pops of color. And I needed a new scrub jacket. Originally, my scrub jacket was one of those like super like flowy ones that didn't look all that professional that just kind of like banged on things because it was like loose and flappy and janky and I don't like them. So this is actually, I based it off of, I did a lot of research on like the Cherokee brand and their like their tighter, like form fitting, figure flattering um, scrub jacket 
because I think they're a little bit more professional. Not only they look a little bit better, but they were a little bit pricey. So I ended up finding on Amazon. It's actually, I think it's technically a like an athletic jacket, but it's a very, very same material. I like cross reference between the Cherokee brand and this one. And this one was like half the price and had very, very similar reviews. Um, it's been like I read through the reviews and a lot of people have said that as a medical professional they use it so I am pretty excited to try it it kind of looks like this it's hard to see but I will also link that down below my in-laws actually bought it for me as a graduation gift or not graduation but I finished like the schooling part so it was like a hey congratulations you're an honor student so thank you to them this is really sweet but this is that it fits very very nicely I love the cut of it and I will again I will link that down below so the next couple things I'll be showing are scrubs and this particular set of scrubs I didn't actually buy for a practicum I actually bought it last quarter so my last quarter of schooling but they are my favorite pair of scrubs and they were on sale at the time and I bought them on a whim but they are these Skechers brand and that would be a stain. God knows what it is. It's, it's the Skechers brand. I think I paid like $18 for the top and $20 for the bottom, which sounds expensive. But let me tell you, scrubs are astronomically expensive and it is outrageous. But this was not that bad and it was on sale. It is the best cut I've ever found on scrubs, at least on my body type. And I absolutely recommend them. I love them. Um, the top is a small and I think the bottoms are mediums. So if you have a body type similar to mine, that would be what I recommend. And this next pair of scrubs I did buy, uh, I think a few weeks ago at Value Village. And I bought them for the purpose of going to practicum because all of my scrubs are black because that was required as a student, as a medical assisting student, at least at my school, we were required to have black scrubs and I hated it. So I went out and bought a color, they match. And the this is actually the Cherokee brand. It's not quite as figure flattering, like on my, on my um, Skechers pair, it like it comes in at the waist. This one really doesn't, but it's still super comfortable. I like this material a little bit better. This one's 94% polyester. 40% recycled polyester and 6% spandex and the, I'm guessing the spandex is that what gives it its stretchiness but I like the polyester I just I like the feel of these scrubs a little bit better these ones feel the um they tag dripped off but these ones feel a little bit more like they're cotton based which is nice but I prefer the other way but they're really nice I've tried it on and I'm that weirdo that uh breaks breaks them in so I wore them and kind of broke them in and they really look really nice and I really like these too but the color the color is what sold me and the last thing that I have that I'm going to be showing you today is this giant water bottle I am so bad about drinking water it's unbelievable and now that I'm going to the gym more I'm eating right I really should be drinking more water so I'm trying so I got this at TJ Maxx I believe it was four or five dollars and it's two liters so I try to drink two of these a day to get an even gallon I'm lucky if I get through one. Normally I drink like half of one of these a day. Please don't come for me, I'm trying. But I trying to drink more water and I'm planning on taking it with me and like a little smaller cup so that way I can keep track of my water intake. Uh, but I would absolutely recommend it. It's this nice, it's not like giant, it's big, but it's still like, it's, Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. And it has like this nice grip and I really enjoy this water bottle, it's helped. And that's about it, you guys. I, like I said, I have another really funny video where my husband does my makeup, planning on coming up in the next couple weeks. Please bear with me, I'm working on it. Um, but uh, that's just like kind of some of the things that I've accumulated. I definitely have a few more things and I'm still have a couple more things to get. And I'm really looking forward to filming that What's in My Bag video for you guys. So make sure that you comment down below if that's something that you're interested in. Because as always, I really want to be filming stuff that you guys want to see. This channel is just as much for you guys as it is for me and a creative outlet. So I really enjoy the feedback. 
As always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you follow me on all my social media handles, and I will make sure to put them in here again, as well as drop it down below. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It really means the world to me, and it means more than I could ever say. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Um, focus. Okay. All right, we're good.